that we're members of Pep Band. Our, our main goal in life is to play music and bring pep. We go to soccer, volleyball, and basketball are like our main cells. Like that's really what we're always consistently going to. So we set a call time at least an hour and a half, two hours before the actual event so Pep Band can get there, get ready, make sure we have all our instruments loaded and set, we can get to the game on time. And then as soon as call time hits, we start unloading our instruments so all the members will help together to, you know, load everyone's cars up, we'll travel to wherever the venue is, we'll get unloaded, set up, and then we'll get ready to start playing. And then the game ends. We have a routine if we win and if we lose, so depending on how it goes, we'll play those songs. Um, and then we pack up and we head home, we debrief in the closet, and then that's it. I love the camaraderie I start to see between students as the semester goes on. Um, you see students go from basically strangers who have a common interest in music and playing their instruments to becoming becoming best friends. It's a place to go to meet like-minded people, people you don't think you would know because I would not be friends with half the people in Pep Band if I was not in there. And they're some of my best friends I've ever met. We had this new member last year. His name was Emmanuel. He's one of uh, the members of our rhythm section. And people may not know him by name, but they probably could know him as the tambourine kid. My name's Emmanuel Pratt. I am, I am a drummer of the Pep Band, and I'm known as the tambourine guy. There's Kate, Willie, and then there's Emmanuel. I am the third mascot of Hofstra University. People are free to be uh, musically creative. I just love that I can always just like move around with it. I don't have to stay in one place like the rest of the band does. If there's a song with like creative liberty with it, I can always just like hop around, uh, do my thing, move around, get people hyped because that's our job in the most part. I'm jumping up and down. People like literally like start getting me riled up. They get me riled up. I get them riled up. They're more riled up after that. People like when we are there at the game. You, you see the appreciation from the crowd for what we're doing. We're supposed to bring a sort of hype to uh, events. I think we do make a difference not only in people's moods, but in, in the outcome of the game to an extent. I've never played a sport in my life, but I can imagine if you're on the, if you're on the field, you know, you're gonna perform better and be more energized if there are fans behind you that are cheering you on and are there for you to support you no matter what you do. That's pretty important that we're there to support the team and make sure that they know that there are people here on their side.